emblem. Heroes! Ah, another wonderful... Oopsies. <laughs> there was a little bit of an echo on TV. I apologize for that. But anyways. Ah, another day, another wonderful morning. If the voting gauntlet has gone so uh, smoothly as beforehand, Lynn should be able to win this in no time. <laughs> uh, the internet would work. Okay. Uh, well, still buffering. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you, Perry. But anyways, it has been a nice journey, Camilo fans, but it's clear that the dominant winner of this voting gauntlet is... favorite sibling. Why don't you think of me as your big sister? <laughs> Buddy, your brave axe. Oh fuck, actually, wait a minute. I was, I was just doing this as a joke, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, looking at Krom's stats, he could actually very much benefit with the brave... Huh. I'm a little bit conflicted now. How many? How many feathers? Okay, so yeah. Uh, okay, this joke has been going. Let me just turn back the music. Hold on. So um, of course the joke was I'm supposed to get all salty because oh no, Lin fans they blah salty tears all of that. I'm not that mad. <laughs> I'm not that mad. Honestly, I think as a person of part of the Lin army, Camila sniped it. <laughs> She pretty much did very wondrously to uh, take the last minute victory, and you know what? Okay, fine. That's 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 that, and I do think that she very well deserves it. That's gonna be a very controversial opi controversial uh, opinion. But uh, hold on, can I check the details right here? I'm gonna say this right now. There's a clear double standard here when it comes to like characters and quote unquote whoever deserves to win or whatever. And I'm just gonna bring this up right now. It, it's still a fucking video game. It doesn't really matter at the end, so just don't be too compassionate about it. Granted, I'm still gonna be Team Ike because I want Camila down. But you know what? It doesn't matter because, okay, let's talk about the multiplier. The one thing that people keep on ranting over about is like, oh, if the multiplier didn't appear, then Camila would have lost or something. It's like, well, yeah, but if that's the case, we would have another Lucina versus Ephraim situation. Or a Minerva versus Camila situation. Do you want that to happen again? Where it's just gonna be a complete landslide? Yes, because Lin is my favorite waifu! Oh my god, okay. You know, just... <sighs> okay, so the uh, multiplier bonus appeared pretty much uh, as Tharja and Robin uh, in the banner where Tharja was called, Battle of the Mages. Here's the thing. Robin would have stood no chance against Sarja, but the fact that their point differences are close to like 2 billion, it it clearly shows that Robin would have actually had a chance if um, we were to fight this. And uh, the original complaint of people that people were keep on saying is the fact that it was clearly obvious as to who would be winning in the voting gauntlet. Like the first one, Prince vs. Vince's. Lucina would have been the obvious winner right there. Let me get back here. Probably a better way. Okay, and then we have Wyvern Riders versus Pegasus Knights. Camilla would have been the obvious winner there, so that's why people would bandwagon on to going for her, myself included, admittedly. So it was like, oh, it's so obvious, Camilla's gonna win, so might as well vote for her instead, since it's gonna be she's gonna be the one that has the clear obvious win. Get more feathers, all that shit. Yeah, it's it's a clear win right there. I'm not sure why this these two essentially these two voting gauntlets were completely useless because it, at the end, it seemed like a popularity contest, and in a way, it kind of is. But um, it just sh it just shows that this is the type of nature of this game mode that really just feels what's the word empty. It just doesn't feel like okay. There's no point in doing this aside from just getting bonus feathers. Might as well just do that. Pick the obvious winner, and then this point came in. It was like oh, okay, Thor and Rob. 
okay, there's like two different winners. It's kind of clear that Tharja is going to win. However, with the multiplayer effect, it was... It was pretty much close that Robin was about to win as well. Same thing goes for Elise versus Priscilla. Priscilla honestly had no chance of winning initially. But the fact that the multiplier is... Okay, the, the multiplier was there. It just feels... It, see, it seems as... Look at that! Fucking Priscilla won against Lisa, of all people. It's like, Lisa is a clear favorite from like the Fire Emblem uh, fan base. But Priscilla won due to the multiplier bonus. And through the hard work and dedication of... The Priscilla fans who uh, supported her. And here's here's another example. Guys versus Leo. Look at that. Gaius is not that popular of a character. Leo certainly is with all the fangirls and all that. Gaius won because he sniped the multiplier bonus because he was the team there was very careful as to conserve all their energy for the last second. And here's the thing. The multiplier bonus effect snipe doesn't have to occur to one character on only. It could be occur for either one of the characters or could not appear at all. Just saying, just very conserve, be more conservative with your uh, battle flags, and then you got this. That's why I'm not all that salty about Camila winning against Lynn because you know what? She honestly well deserves it. I mean, she doesn't deserve it. I hate the character, but uh, she it was clear as to why she got that victory. And oh fuck me, she's winning. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to the fucking thing real quickly and vote for Ike. She's a new- I- I get it. Thanks for so, uh, supporting more salted to my wounds. That said, I still don't condone being with Team- What the hell? Oh, oops. I still don't condone with being with Team Camila. Because, like I said, personally, Ike is clearly the better character. He's more, uh... What now? Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say relatable. But he's a lot more, yes. uh, let's what say... Developed yeah. than Camila, without a doubt. That being said, okay. Oh, sure. That being said, though, I really don't care who wins at the end because at the end of the game, it's mostly just a video game. It's it's not something that should honestly be like that ranty yes. about, and I just really don't care at this point. Like, I just want to have fun, and because of that close encounter, I'd say it was very well, very well, like a close game between the two. And you know what? I had fun at the end. So that's fine, that's all that matters, is that as long as you have fun, and that's... Oh, that's a little bit tricky, though. Okay. Considering how Ike has, like, a disadvantage right now, I think it's probably best to... Although, then again, the multiplier bonus would probably benefit him very much. But whatever. Anyways, uh, that's just my personal opinion. Don't just blindly hate on Camila for winning the multiplier bonus when it's clear that other people other characters have won as well, and no one has complained about it. Because here's the thing, people are complaining about the multiplier bonus now, just because it wasn't in their favor, and in my opinion, that just seems like a very huge double standard right there. This is coming from a, pers a, char a person who has supported Lin through the beginning, and I'm saying that, guys, it's not that big of a deal. It's something that balances the voting gauntlet. Granted, I do think it could have been a little bit, I, I could have, I feel like it could have been a little bit more balanced if they, um, let's say, okay, so, the multiplier bonus would probably appear if it was, like, one billion points or something. I feel like it should be lessened, so it would be, like, maybe 500 million, and it shouldn't be, like, it shouldn't last around maybe, like, 30 minutes. Like, I'd say, at, at best, 10 or 15 minutes would be fine, and if there was a I want to say 500 million points, or no, even 50 million points. If it was a 15 million points lead, that's when uh, the multiplier bonus should be uh, in effect. Granted, I don't think it's going to be that big, like maybe like 1.5 or something, or 2 would have been nice. But the, the issue with the multiplier bonus I have, in my opinion, is that it's a little too broken. It's uh, It seems like the it's not averaging the balances whatsoever. Which is why Camila, in, at the end, kind of had like a little bit of an edge towards Lin, and in a way, I feel like that's a little bit unfair. But the multiplier, the multiplier bonus in itself, is not that bad. It's a, there's a reason why it was implemented in the first place. It was there to make the voting gauntlet a lot more balanced. It was there so that other lower tier characters have a chance at winning this. That being said, fuck Camila. <laughs> fuck you for like taking Lin's place is like, uh. And also, that's another thing about, like, I, I, this has nothing to do with Camila, by the way, but, um, 
uh, looking at the comment section of one of Sage's videos, there's been a lot of, like, backpedaling and back and forth between, like, whether or not a uh, Team Lin member should be supporting Camila or Ike. And the reasoning for this is to take revenge on Ike, because apparently Ike supporters have said that Lin is also a thought, and it's like, oh, that, 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 that's not right, you should respect Lin, that's why we're signing with Camille. Okay, so we're signing with the people who actually annihilated Lin, just to teach this one, just to teach the fan, here's the thing, fan bases, in my opinion, shouldn't matter whatsoever in terms of who you should support. It's the characters themselves. Okay. Let's, once again, let's go back to the uh, previous voting gauntlets. Just to uh, name an example. Here I'm going to be um, explaining my uh, personal choices in most of this. Okay, so the first two don't count, honest. The first two really don't count because originally I wanted to support uh, Erica. Oh. oh, that's how you zoom in. Okay. I wanted to support Erica. But just because I knew instantly how the nature of these voting gauntlets were going to be, I went with Team Lucina at the very beginning because I knew she was going to win, I knew she was going to give me the most feathers, so I might as well pick Lucina. So there's that. And then we have Wyvern Riders versus, again, this one doesn't count, I went for Team Camila because that's going to get me the most results, that's going to be giving me the most feathers. If I were to not have that into account, I would have easily gone to Minerva. Simple as that. If the multiplayer uh, effect were to count, I would have been Team Minerva without it easily. Because personally for me, the only reason to ever like Camila is her character design. That's it. You can have your opinion. I'm pretty sure you can defend her, explain why she's a good character. I'm just saying my opinion. The only reason why I feel you should like Camila are very much two big reasons. What are those two big reasons? You should know about that. Uh, this one, I was this, this I was definitely being legit here, so I was like, okay, the multiplier bonus effect should be coming into play now, which means a lot of pe players have a chance to um, pretty much win this gauntlet. And I predicted at the end it was going to be either between Robin and uh, uh, Tharja and Robin, and in the end Tharja won. Now, with that being said, I did admittedly go for Team Tharja. <laughs> Mostly because, and I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite for bashing on Camille here, I honestly do like Tharja's character. Not because, not just because she's sexy, although that really uh, amazingly does help, but actually no, that's probably the only reason why I actually went to Team Tharja. But her sexuality is pretty much based on her personality as well. And that's just why I, I love Tharja so much. Unlike Camila, where literally her personality contradicts her sexiness. But anyways, um, yeah, this one, okay. This one, I had honestly had no idea who to vote for because, I'll be honest, I don't like any one of these fuckers. <laughs> I honestly don't. And that's gonna, that's gonna make me sound very, like, I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I honestly don't like a whole lot of these characters in the clear. So I was like, okay, who, who the fuck am I gonna vote for? Who's the least unlikable? And admittedly, the least unlikable for me will probably be either Lisa or Sakura. However, for some reason, I went for Priscilla as a team. Uh, team Priscilla, for some reason. I think because, like, I was... I will admit, I was a little bit bandwagoning in terms of, oh, no fates or awakening characters uh, like that as well. And I was like... at the In hindsight, I felt like that was kind of a little bit biased of me. I feel like I didn't go for Team Sakura or Team Lisa because at the time, I was like, oh, it's another fates and awakening character that I, I, I would be voting for. I'm not going to do that. So I went for Team Priscilla instead. And... I feel like that that doesn't seem fair of me to do in hindsight. So, like I said, in the end, just pick the character you absolutely want to root for. Don't pick a character just a bandwagon. Don't pick a character because you hate a certain character. Just pick a character you feel the most attachment to. And for me personally, that would have been honestly Sakura. And in hindsight, I probably should have done that because I absolutely fucking hate Elise. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, um... And I think that's the last voting gauntlet, or is there one more? There's one more, okay. This one, I went for Team Gaius because... Uh, uh, at the time, I it was basically between two choices. That's when um, I found out about... Um, actually, I found out that this a long time ago uh, with, um, I want to say, like, Camila's um, banner. But uh, it was basically a toss-up between Tiki and Gaius for me, personally. 
since those two are the only units I own. In the end, I went for Team Gaius because I felt, okay, I probably do like... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean breakfast, I'm not sure how that happened. Anyways, I went for Team Gaius simply because I just like his character a lot more than all the other characters. And if I were to have Team... If uh, I were to own Robin's uh, swimsuit character, I would have gone for Team Robin. Oh well. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I went for Team Gaius because, okay, he's the second best thing because I actually own a unit of him. I could probably, like, support him the most. And, for the most part, he made it to Grand Finals, which is very nice. Now, um, this is kind of the part where the multiplier effect didn't really benefit Gaius too much because even with the multiplier effect, Kord still pretty much had it because, like, I think no matter how much multiplier effects Gaius had, Korn would have just easily stomped the curve because of her popularity. And for the most part, I was kind of right because because throughout the entirety of the match, Gaius didn't have any advantage whatsoever. It was mostly just because of his multiplier effect, which is a good balance mechanic, but in the end, it's still a popularity contest. So I felt a little bit salty and in the wrong for that because just because of the fact that Korn is legit a most popular one of the most popular characters, and I really can't blame anyone for that. It's just due to, like, personal bias from the majority of the Fire Emblem Heroes fan base. So, I feel like Gaius was a little bit robbed in there just because Korn supporters are just vivid. That being said, and when I say vivid, I mean, um... I, I shouldn't say vivid. That's probably, like, the wrong word to it, but popular is probably the best way. I'm not sure, even sure why I said vivid in the first place. I think I was just being, like... A fancy brainiac and try to you know that oh I have I have a thesaurus and uh, I know all these words fuck off me <laughs> fuck off me I don't know shit <laughs> so you shut the fuck up base anyways but yeah here it was clear that Lynn and Camila had like a neck to neck competition so I feel less salty because of that because it was a lot more fair and balanced and I'm gonna I, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that but yes it was fair and balanced. The multiplier effect, the it was a combination of both popularity and the multiplier effect. It wasn't as completely of a curve stomp as fucking Gaius versus Cam uh, Gaius fucking versus uh, Gaius versus, versus Corin, but it was a close combat, and I definitely don't mind the outcome of Elise versus Priscilla because it was a close match. Look at that! Look at that rate! Look at okay, maybe not Tharja versus Robin. In fact, looking it back, it looks like kind of Tharja wiped the floor with Robin. I don't know, I remember last time that Robin had a chance or something, or Robin had, like, some advantage advantages against Sarja. I don't remember too much of the details, it was a long time ago. But, at least in Priscilla, was definitely, like, a best example of how to make a good grand final battle, even if the outcome was not completely in my favor. So, yeah, that's just my personal take on this situation. Overall, just have fucking fun, guys. Like, there's no reason to get salty over this. I'm not sure if Sages... And by the way, I have no hate for Sages whatsoever. I very much love his content. I'm not sure if Sages was being legitimate when he found out that, like... There was a video where, like, he found out the results between Lynn versus Camila. And, um... And by the way, yes, I did know ahead of time the results. That's why I kind of, like, tried to prepare that joke at the beginning. Sorry about that, if that failed or not. Uh, I'm not sure if he was being legitimate when he saw Camila won. Or if he was joking, because there was not that whole much context. I felt like it was it, it, it was just a joke, but I don't know. He he kind of he. I'll be honest. He was a good actor if he was doing it very seriously. If he was not doing it seriously, I mean, he was legit a good actor it, into thinking like, oh, is he being serious? He was like, he, he's actually that salty over like Lynn. No, I, me personally, if I want to be take my own personal like opinion on this. It doesn't matter at the end. We all get free shit no matter what. This is just to have fun at the end. There's really no reason to, like, hate on any, uh... Wait, hold on, where is it? There's really absolutely no reason to hate on... How do I get to the bracket? Is this really the only way? Oh, whatever. There's really no reason to hate on any of these characters' fan base as long as everyone's having fun, okay? And I feel like I'm the only Lin supporter that says this, but I really didn't, it like, okay, it would have been like a dream for Ike versus Lin because those two are easily my favorite characters. 
and to have them pit off against the Grand Finals, it would have been nice. But think of it like this. The voting gauntlet here is pretty much like a story arc. Imagine it as like good versus evil, where Lin is on the good side and Camilla is on the bad side. Let's just say for the sake of it, it is a storyline. Camilla happens to overcome Lin and Lin lost the battle. That's fine. We still have one more chance to take down the evildoer. We still have one more chance to take down the one who have wronged us. And to do that, we need support from our best ally, Ike. Someone who has pretty much been supporting us. And I say supporting us because, like, there, I will admit, there are some dumbass fans who are completely blinded by the waifu syndrome and say that, oh, all these women right here, they're all sluts. They're all thoughts. They all don't deserve to win. Why fuck waifus or something like that? It's like, to me personally, that's just negative. That's just unnecessary negative attention. The same reason going for like, oh, fuck Roy because fuck, he's a pussy ass bitch, whatever. Or Krom's clearly not gonna win even though I've actually seen like Hector versus Krom fights where it's pretty neck and neck. The best situation out of this entire voting gauntlet, in my opinion, is a good battle. If it's just a complete curve stomp, it's not fun. E for either side. If Lin were to completely dominate over Camila, I was like, okay, that seems obvious, but I don't f consider that fun whatsoever. I would have, yes, it would have. I would have been nice because like I was Team Lin, but at the same time, it would have been fun. It wouldn't be fun if it was just a complete curve stomp. The fact that Lin and Camila are so close to each other. In terms of like the the battle, where like both of which were like using the multiplier to their advantage, I'd say that was a fun battle, and I did enjoy my time with that. I can't say I can't say for I'm only like expressing my own opinion. Oh fuck, it's actually really close. Ike is actually edging out a little bit. Okay, we still have a chance, Team Ike. We got this. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, like I said, in the end, it doesn't really matter anyways. It's all just for fun, and. I feel like that should, that's what matters the most in this rolling gauntlet, because in the end, because let's be honest, this game mode in itself is very flawed, and what I am glad that the game developers are doing is taking all that into consideration and trying to make it fun, rather than just, you know, not improving on the voting gauntlet. It's like, okay, yeah, in the end, it is kind of like a popular head contest for the most part, but you know what? Free, free feathers, free orbs, because it, it really doesn't matter at the end. Sure, you get a little bit more free feathers for winning, but it's only, it's just 500 feathers. It's not really that worth it. Pretty sure it does like add up at the end, but like for the most part, it's just 500 feathers for the victory bonus. It doesn't matter anyways. Just have fun, guys. That's the, uh, that's the uh, end message I would like to leave on. Just have fucking fun. Just don't bitch about it. And, uh, have fun. That being said, Team Camilla, you're going down. I'm taking my revenge, and you are fucking toast. You're dead to me, whore. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta shut the fuck up. No, that, that's just, um... That's probably gonna be a lot more rude of me. It's for parody's sake. Shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm actually a little bit, uh... Huh. I'm on... I, I, I'm honestly a little bit concerned now, <laughs> because, like... On one hand, okay, first off, I was never planning on, like, donating Camila to the black market, but looking at her weapon and, uh, Krom's stats, what the hell's Krom? And Krom's stats, that attack is amazing. That speed is pretty damn good. I'm a little bit... <laughs> How much does the carrot let the axe do? 13. Okay, so... It's only gonna be minus 5, so he'll still have... 48, and that's still pretty damn good attack bonus. <sighs> I'm a little bit conflicted. I was saying that as a joke, but now, now that I see it, it's like, oh my god, Krom with Brave Axe might actually be very, very good. <laughs> I should probably do that, but I don't have enough feathers, and honestly, I'm very low on axe units, so I'll just. I have plenty of Camilas here. I got two Camilas ready to upgrade. I'm probably just gonna donate one of her organs to Krom. So that uh, he has the Brave Axe and all that. And, uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say on that matter. Uh, oopsies. 
Anyways, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I, I, I have no problems if you guys disagree with me. Just definitely tell me what you guys think. I'm willing to listen. I'm very open-minded. Hell, if you see the fact that I'm perfectly okay with Lin losing there, because in the, in the end, like, whether Cam when Lin, whether Lin or Camila lost, I had fun regardless. And if this is going to be a very close encounter as well, I'm going to have fun with this battle as well. That's all that matters, is if you guys have fun. Because, like, oh, it's good. It, people are good that are complaining about it being, oh, it's too predictable. Oh, it's like, all that shit. The fact that you guys are just continuing, like, going through the Vogue Gauntlet over and over again is like, okay, aside from, like, maybe the free feathers, what are you guys gaining from this? Are you trying to prove a point here? If you guys are proving a point, point here, gather up a group of people. Make some sort of, like, I don't know, Discord server for your team base and discuss a lot of strategies between, like, what you guys should do, because I feel like that's something that, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes might benefit very much from, although I don't think it's gonna be very much implemented in this app itself. Probably just have, like, a Discord or Skype of, like, hashtag Team I, hashtag Team Camilla, hashtag Team Lin, hashtag Team Hector, all that good shit. And, uh, yeah, just, like, just be more, uh, productive with your community instead of trash-talking other community, because, because, honestly, I don't think, like, I've seen a single Team Camilla that's been trash-talking whatsoever. The only trash-talk I've seen were, quote-unquote, Lin Tears. That's pretty much it, and, yes, that's disrespectful, but, uh, I've seen a lot more hate from Team Ike, and honestly, Team Lin, than I have from Team Camilla. Team, Cam Team Camilla, for the most part, the only thing, the only thing, like, I've seen from them is just the fact that they support their character, and they're willing to support their character no to the end, no matter what. And people admitting that the only reason why they're co supporting Camilla are the tits. And honestly, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. That shouldn't really be a bad thing, because I feel... That's just being very prejudiced. Sorry, see, I saying like, okay, big boobs are not fine. It's like, yeah, big boobs sell, but clearly it doesn't sell for you guys, right? <laughs> clearly it doesn't sell for you guys. That's why you're going for a different team instead. Because big boobs are as equal of amount as a turn off, especially in now, in this, especially in this generation of like fucking PC culture, whatever. Oh, whatever. That, that's like a, that's another debate for uh, another time, but um, yeah, just be respectful. Don't be bitches. Don't be whining little assholes. Just have fun. Just honestly, because like really, in the end, like I said, I, I hate repeating myself. I really gotta stop doing that. We're all winning. We're all winners in the end. We're all getting all our free feathers, our free orbs. It doesn't matter. Yeah, all right. I, I gotta stop this video. It's already been 30 minutes, and I'm pretty sure like. Half of this video was, was just me repeating the same shit over and over again. I really gotta stop doing that. I apologize for that. Let me know what you guys think about what I think. Like I said. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys, I guess, at the end of... Oh, wait, shit! I forgot. There's one more thing I, I probably should do. There's another summon. <laughs> Might as well do that, although, to be fair, um... Like, Ephraim seems to be the best shot, but I really don't want to fucking parry. That's my worst outcome right there is if I get a parry. Well, whatever. Let's go. Raven would be nice too, though. Okay, one blue. So whatever we get here, that's gonna be it. This is gonna be my only pull for today, in case you guys really want to know. And it's gonna be shit, so oh well. <laughs> There's... Why did I wake up this time? <laughs> you know, imagining, um... Imagine someone who has no idea about the whole feather and the blue orbs rising shenanigans. Imagine their reaction to seeing a cutscene of Robin. It's like, oh my god, I got a very good unit! And then it turns out it's just 3-star. <laughs> I really don't know why they added a cutscene for Robin if he is so... common. Uh, oh well, whatever. I got another Robin. Uh, I could probably use him as for my uh, one of my mages. What do you have again? Slows down special trigger, cool down. Okay, so that's gonna be good for a vengeance right there. That being said, I think Robin has like an advantage towards um, colorless units or something. Hold on. What's his weapon? Okay, so that's 11 might. 
other team might. I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I might actually want uh, Robin's. Uh, okay, there might be one merging. <laughs> or one inheriting, I mean, for this. Although I don't think. Um... Oh, no, you go. I don't think this is possible. Yeah, Blar Raven. I think I need to be um, level 5. Not that. Yeah, I need to be level 5 in order to have uh, Blar Raven Plus, so um, that's not gonna happen in the way future. I would like for my Tharja to be a lot more offensive against some colorless units. That would be fantastic. Um, I already have a Hector counter and a colorless counter, so Tharja is easily there. For that. I gotta stop this video. <laughs> uh, I'll discuss a lot more, like, strategies and all that good shit if you guys really want me to. Or if you guys just want me to shitpost everything in this video, that that's fine too. I'm mostly just looking for your guys' feedback if you guys ever watched this video. Anyways, see you guys!